going on everyone so wanted to give you a quick update uh wow what an amazing couple of days it's been um so if you follow along on the vans forums you probably know that on monday uh, we were notified that vans was, was actually going to be making a stop in north texas in the dallas area with uh their factory rv12 uh, november 912 victor alpha and um I mean, I, I jumped on it as soon as I heard about it. Um, I've been looking forward to getting out and seeing the plane. I haven't actually seen a flying RV-12. Um, you know, I have mine in kit status, of course, but uh, throughout the build process. Uh, but never got to sit in one, never seen one, um, never got to fly in one. Uh, well, that all changed yesterday. Had an amazing day. Uh, spent spent some time out at, uh, uh, at the hangar with uh, Doug Reeves. Um, uh, Jay Pratt came by, you know, all these people that we are so impactful to the, uh, not only the Vans community, but the aviation community that you hear about all the time. And I got to meet everybody yesterday and many more, many more people. Um, we had about 15 or so people out along with, uh, you know, the Vans rep, uh, Greg, who was amazing, by the way, he actually took me up for a flight and what an experience. Uh, the plane was amazing. It, it was everything I expected and more. Um, so light on the controls, flies like a dream. I mean, lands at like 60 knots, which was ridiculous. I hadn't seen anything like that before. Uh, if you're used to flying a Cessna, you know, it's, you're upwards of 70 knots coming in for a landing. So, um, but just all around an amazing day. Wanted to share it with you guys. I'll try to post up a picture or maybe even a video if I can figure out how to do the video editing stuff. I'm, this is all new to me. So, um, but more to come and, uh, I'll give you an update on where we're at with the plans and, uh, with the plane build. Now we got to get this fuselage built so we can move on to the wings and get this thing flying. So see you soon. Good morning, everyone. So, um, in the beginning of this video, what you saw was I finished up the uh, this back plate on the rear of the baggage compartment, which um, is where the autopilot, one of the autopilot servos will mount, uh, right back here on these two plates here. Uh, so we got that done, got that um, uh, riveted in place, and then next we moved on to the uh, forward lower fuselage. So I've actually already completed most of the work on here. Uh, sorry, I made a video in the beginning and uh, what had happened was I didn't realize it, but I was actually recording the video sideways. So when I tried to import it into um, my program, it was sideways. So you wouldn't have liked that, but sorry, I missed it, but uh, finished up all the work to do with the four lower fuselage for the most part. Uh, just a lot of cutting up, deburring, and then uh, prepping all of of the work and then what you saw was um, we put some pro seal so on this top corner here um, which is you know the engine will mount uh, up here and uh, so you have to put a sealant on this uh, this edge here to, uh, to keep gases from getting into the uh, the cabin so you saw that in the video got that all completed and um, you know now we're moving on to uh, I'll be mounting the side skins on so around the curved edges on both sides here that's what's coming up next. And um, like I said, sorry I didn't get a video uh, before all this work started to kind of explain what I was gonna be doing there. Um, but 
this is a very short section, so once we complete the side skins and getting these mounted on, uh, we'll be mounting on to the fuselage, and then that'll pretty much be it, and then we'll be moving on to the side skins. See you soon.